Cancers, welcome. It's your heart spread reading for November. The new Casa, me studio on natural here in Cancun, Mexico. Found a very nice little spot here in the middle of this bustling city. It's uh, quiet and peaceful here, by and large. You can hear, I don't know what that is behind me. Parrots, it's amazing. So this is your heart spread, who's on your mind, who's in your hearts for November, the month of November. Let's see what we get. We ask in spirit and name of light love, so it serves the greatest good. Give us advice here about this person that's on the mind. The cancer is an end cancer's heart. Yeah. Something deeper in just describing the situation, something helpful in some way. It's uh, as we can get. Do check out the Soul Family Read. That's a collective daily read for whoever resonates. Uh, I think Terrence McKenna, who said, Find the Others. And I'll put a link to it in the description. It's also up on my channel every day. And Tuesdays are normally, so I apologize. Uh, Gemini and Cancer days. I'm a day behind. I've been sick lately. So I'm just kind of taking my time catching up. Can't really rush this. So um, I don't think the world will die if I'm uh, a day or so late on my, <laughs> my heart spreads, you know. Also do the singles read now. Meet the soulmate. That's when you have no one on your mind. So tell a friend, tell a friend. Thumbs up. Do subscribe. Appreciate it. Um, if you have single friends, hit them up. You know their sign probably. Say, hey man, check out this dude. It's very different than the heart spread. It's also eight cards. Oops. I'm not going to take that though. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <sighs> so, I wanted to get a little energy on these. Okay. Answers. Mm. Okay. Okay. It's gonna be you. Wow. <laughs> Death. This is where your mind is at, where your heart is at, in and around relationships. For this November heart spread. I try to take this as a baseline to get it a little different. Uh, uh, get, get you a little uh, uh, different uh, view of you, separate from your person who's on your mind. This is a, meant to be your energy um, of yourself here. Um, and please, the, the, the Soul Family read, uh, very much um, for today, it, the 27th, it might even speak to you. This, this was on the bottom of the deck, Death. And, um, you know, this is your energy in and around relationships. Um, you're in the middle of a transformation around relationships. Now, this could be a, a general transformation. It's a Plutonic transformation. I have Pluto opposite uh, right now, uh, the moon for me is a theme uh, but this would probably be in your astrological chart around some kind of significant Pluto uh, transit for you uh, it could be so many different ways but that's an interesting energy to come into a relationship with um, I'm not saying don't do, do it I did uh, I am uh, but uh, wow how perfect your person comes in with the tower okay guys let's just wait wait stop stop time time out time out this is like ridiculously karmic. Okay, so first of all, if you think like karmic is silly, well, that's probably not your reading because it's karmic as fuck right there. And I like it. I mean, I'm damn well interested to see where this is going because the bottom of the deck is for wands. The building of actions, wands, a long-term committed relationship or marriage. The overall energy here. Now I'll tell you, when I see the tower over here, someone's energy in and around relationships, they're very most likely just coming out of a, pouring out of a bad relationship, a divorce, a breakup, something like that with the tower. Um, I mean, look at the card. You don't even have to know anything about tower. How does that make you feel? Yeah, make you feel like you got a Uranus transit to your DC. A divorce maker <laughs> yeah tower I often see as Uranus energy death clearly uh, Pluto energy it's an interesting way to meet <laughs> and um, it makes sense to me I, I, I like it right off the bat man hold on a minute 
Ah, just chai tea. I tell you what, I'd kill for some 20 year old scotch right now. <laughs> just a little, you know? Can't do. Oh, I stop at 20, 50 year old scotch. How much would that cost? But, death energy in the tower. I, it's hard to say where to go from here. Now, this is your energy of how you're feeling towards your person. Ace of Swords, you are all about them. That's what that is there. And you were telling them this. And it's kind of like a... Uh, you're telling this in a no-nonsense way. And with this Ace of Swords here, Cancer, very well could be you telling them, this is a highly karmic... Already before this, the reading, you know, you're already telling them, this is a highly karmic relationship. Let me tell you what's going on here. Blah, 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 blah. Just kind of laying it out to them. But you're laying it out to them. It kind of implies to me that you're well through this transformation. You know, it's almost like you might be finishing this transformation and kind of embodying some kind of Scorpio energy here, um, Cancer. And now you're conveying this to this person. And this person's coming to you for, under very difficult and stressful circumstances. It's the kind of, this is the kind of energy where they might need a place to stay, you know, because they don't have a home tower. And towards you, the Eight of Swords. They're having a hard time dealing with something. I mean, with the Ace of Swords, it's very good at setting boundaries. Uh, it's very natural. It's kind of uh, an, an Ace assertiveness. It's, uh, I would say, appropriately assertive. I think you've, you've understood something from your Scorpionic experiences, which are what? Around issues of power, uh, control, um, um, infidelity, um, com, com, too much... Uh, um, too intense of a sexual kind of uh, desire and uh, obsessions, obsessions of in a love relationship. It's mainly about uh, sexual obsessions, Plutonic around Pluto. Um, you may have this with this person, like your Pluto conjunct Venus, trying uh, Pluto trying Venus, uh, that kind of thing. Even opposite Venus can have this kind of effect. Um, Uranus to Venus energy, Uranus to Mars, Pluto to Mars, God forbid. Um, but it's like you know now what your boundaries are. and you, you, You're telling this person right out exactly. Uh, it could be like simply like, well, okay, uh, here's the problem with you living and moving in with me. And you, you lay it out. Or, okay, uh, you're going to move in, but here's the rules, and here's how it's going to work, and I don't play. And they're not receiving it well, you know. Um, it, in fact, you know, it's like they're, they're really in a lot, like, a, kind of like a free fall. If they've got that, just, well, I mean, again, you don't have to know tarot. Just intuitively, can you put your six-year-old, say, honey, what do you think about those two cards? And they're probably going to tell you, mommy, it doesn't feel too good to me. That, that something's wrong with this person you know they're really hurting so really tough to have a, any kind of relationship like that maybe that's what you're trying to tell them not easy energy sword to sword there ace of sword to the eight of swords four cups now this is your advice from spirit towards this person it's hard not to read that as the advice is to emotionally withdraw. I'm telling you, the cancer, it's a heart spread. Do you want to always uh, positive read? The singles read, meet soulmate, because it simply describes the soulmate. But with this read, it's going to describe what's going on between you and the person you're thinking of, and it can go any way. So their advice is the Ten of Pentacles is to get their shit together. <laughs> Their advice is they need to get their shit together, which they really do, because if that tower fell, you know, it's not time to be sitting around Eight of Swords energy. You need to be putting the tower back together, rebuilding your house, your foundation. And it, Spirit's telling you that you need, really need to step out of this, you know. Um, <coughs> one of the things that comes to mind, like the spiritual wisdom stuff, is like at some point you learn, uh, wow, it's not always right. For me to say the, something, even if I know it's true, and I know it's right, uh, it, sometimes I need to just not say 
uh, what I see and what I know. And knowing when to not say and when to say, that's spiritual wisdom right there of a pretty high level. And I think what spirit is trying to tell you here, Cancer, kind of in no uncertain terms either, is pretty strong, is this is uh, not your monkeys, not your circus over here, Cancer. And you really should just withdraw your emotional. Um, let this ace of sword be more boundaries than anything else, setting of boundaries, and withdraw yourself emotionally. Now, right now, I'm not saying relationship's over. They do have the advice to get their shit together. Um, we all had towers fall on us. We need a minute. It's a difficult time. Doesn't always leave us in our best energy. I right? really challenging. That's like the whole thing with Uranus. It's trying to free us up, but first got to shake us up, and then we need a minute to get it together. Now let's see. This is interesting. This is the advice for the relationship as a whole. Being that the Two of Cups is here, the advice is consider. It really the advice is quite literally give each other your cup of love and quit fucking around but it's like to can really consider uh, that there is a possibility that there could be love here um, and I think it's got to be hard to do uh, because right now your person is, is so uh, in this free fall um, and you know that it's not a good time for you to catch them Sometimes I think it is. I don't know. It's a choice. I think there's karmic stuff that goes on. Sometimes we catch each other what we do. I don't know. I always think it's codependent. It's the life. If that's always the way it is, what's well, codependent. But so it's like saying you have a choice. It's like they can choose to give you their cup, and you can choose to give them your cup. The outcome is strength, and you do have. In the Two of Cups, you do have the Lion here in the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot deck. And then you do have the Outcome of Strength with this very beautiful young woman on the Strength card here. I think she's the youngest woman I've seen on a Strength card. Like a teenage girl here. Leo energy. The Heart again. Strength. Fifth House Romance. Let me clarify both of those six pinnacles. This is going to take six months' time. I think that's what that is, pretty solid. Could also speak back to six months, like this has been going on for not six months. Yes, could be definitely speak back for six months, but it could be six years. Could be something going back six years back and forth here with this. But I think it's talking about six months right here. And it comes down to like an option, free will. It's like you're both going to have the option to give each other your cup. Um, and maybe part of what your Ace of Swords was, Cancer, kind of hopefully it was, uh, was here's, you know, if, if we're going to date, here's this. And it's ultimatums. Somewhere you're making these ultimatums, however it's playing out. Um, so in six months, no contact for six months and no squirrely stuff from you and I'm going to do my own thing and on this date if you still want a relationship we'll talk and I think something like that you may be surprised at what you get uh, at the end of that uh, when you guys come back together and um, if you decide to give this a shot guys when we do have the four of wands on the bottom of the deck so it's the building of you know Maybe building it is stepping away. That's part of building it. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Like, thumbs up, hit the bell, subscribe. You know the drill. Share with a friend.